Welcome everybody. Happy Tuesday afternoon or morning, depending on where you are in the world. This is Jen Maleka, FDN practitioner and marketing guru here with Reed Davis our founder of Functional Diagnostic Nutrition. We are excited to share with you information about the HPA Access and Adrenal Stress Assessment for health coaches, because as we like to say as FDNs, we like to test, not guess, as, uh, guess, as Reed and I are both wearing our FDN shirts here with our slogan, in order to get objective data to help guide recommendations um, for diet, rest, exercise, stress reduction, and supplementation for our clients. So we wanna give you some insights on how you can do this also as health coaches in order to help your clients get real results that are long lasting and sustainable. So Reed, are you excited like I am to share this topic and information with them today? Yeah, of course, it's what I do. <laughs> this is your passion and your purpose in life. I know that it is. So a um, few housekeeping items before we dive into today's awesome content is that one, we are definitely going to be answering questions towards the end. So please get familiar with the chat box now. Tell us where you where it is that you are calling in from today or joining us. We'd love to see where our tribe and our followers are around the world and then that way you'll know how to ask questions later on as well um two is that for everybody that attends and hangs on till the end um, we've got some awesome free gifts and things in store for you that you'll be able to check out so make sure that you hang in there with us um, after today's webinar for everybody that attended you'll instantly get an email with a free gift uh, from us that you can access right away to help take you to that next level we also have one of our course counselors here with us on the line jess del pino hey jess say hi to everyone everybody real quick she's probably muted so it'll take a second <laughs> hi, and hi everyone hey and Jess is here to answer help answer questions for us as well so she will also be managing the questions on the um, chat box there for us and she can respond to you she'll be sharing links that we're going to share throughout the presentation today so again make sure you get familiar with that Tell us where you're calling in from. I see Janine is from is a Colombian from New Jersey. We've got Alyssa uh, Tyler from Cape Coral, Florida. I'm in San Diego. Reed's in San Diego. Jess is in Los Angeles, all from California over here. Um, but I know that we have a ton of you from all different types of places around the world and walks of life. Uh, and we've got um, somebody from the Ozarks of Arkansas. That's awesome. That's one place that I would love to visit sometime. So great. Um, also, what would be really helpful for us is let us know uh, what it is that you're looking to get out of today's webinar. You can ch chat that in to the box as well for us too. Let us know if you're a health coach or if you are a current al uh, allied health professional, as we would say. So that's somebody who's a chiropractor, personal trainer, naturopathic doctor, acupuncturist, massage therapist, or maybe you're somebody who's aspiring to be a health coach. Um, Maybe you have a, a personal health journey that's inspired you to get into the industry. We would love to know that too. That way we can make sure that we kind of guide the content today to make sure that it meets all of your needs and where you currently are um, coming to us from around the world. So we've got some other great things happening in here. We've got people from Brazil today, Reed. Um, we've got people from Lagos, Nigeria, which is awesome. We've got some dietitians, I see, some health coaches, an aspiring health coach, um, another health coach in here. So quite a wide variety of people. So let's respect everybody's time and let's go ahead and jump in, Reed. So I'm gonna let you take it away. Thanks very much and welcome. I'm glad you are here. And I hope that you pick up a few tips today. I just wanna teach and we'll jump right into it then. And thanks, Jen, and thanks just for being here. And please keep the comments coming. It doesn't have to be a question. You can just say, yeah, read right on or whatever it is. So here's what I wanna promise you today. And if you pay close attention, I guarantee that you can leave this webinar. Let me move this out of the way. And you can turn, this, your web, you turn, your web, turn your webcam off, Reed, just so we can, uh, okay. yeah. yeah, bandwidth, there we go. Uh, that, that'll save bandwidth, okay. 
you're going to learn everything you need to know to take your business to the next level and not only how to fix people's adrenal problems, which is our topic today, but any other health problem that they're challenged with. This also applies to your own health challenges, of course. We all have to walk the talk, don't we? That's one of the prerequisites of FDN. If, if you want to be an FDN practitioner or if you just want to be a really good health coach, I, th I think you're going to um, find that. So. Another promise too is that you're going to learn these board certified investigative skills and mindset that seeks to unravel metabolic chaos instead of treating symptoms, which lab tests identify the most healing opportunities, how to apply wellness principles, how to walk clients along a proven path towards health, and what you need to do right now so that you never have to worry that you don't have the skills or tools. Because I know clients are coming to you. You might, if you're a personal trainer, we have some health coaches here, we have some uh, massage therapists and, therapists and things, and they're coming to you, and sure, you help them, and good on you. I know you're a do-gooder, but what about the ones that you're not exactly helping all the way, or that they're having to go to see other people, and they're probably telling you that they're not getting fixed, and you know that's why they're complaining. So this is all about that and how to grow your business by getting real results in your client's health and well-being. So the first thing I have to explain is something, a phrase that I coined, quite a while ago now, but it was uh, just what seemed to be when I was working with people. Metabolic chaos is a state where hidden stressors have caused malfunction, but the root cause is unpredictable because the symptoms appear so far downstream. And what happens is people just try to predict. So they base their intervention on some reliable or traditionally reliable cluster of symptoms and even abnormal test results, but are only getting a marginal response. So even if you already run labs, you might be finding that you ran them too close to where the symptoms are and you're not getting the results you want. So that happens all the time in our business and I can tell you why. It's about this idea of metabolic chaos and there's lots of contributors to metabolic chaos. You could say they're the cause, and metabolic chaos is the effect until guess what? This is a remarkable thing. Metabolic chaos itself becomes the single most significant condition. And guess what? We can call it that and just say that's what it is. So what I, you know, we have these t-shirts on test, don't guess. That's kind of our handle, if you will, our motto. And we suggest that instead of guessing, there is a step-by-step -step board certified assessment program that identifies underlying conditions and healing opportunities. You know, we don't want to just look at tests and, and say, oh, what are the treatment options? We don't know what's wrong so they can fix it. The very potent, proven, professional, drug-free protocols that restore, repair, and rebuild health, again, instead of just treating the symptoms or what you have predicted. So this is a path you can Take your clients down. You yourself should follow it first. And that's kind of required if you, if you want to be one of us. And not only achieve, but maintain those results that everyone's looking for. So it's really time to stop the cycle of trial and error, isn't it? And, and uh, good on you. So let's take one of those traditionally reliable cluster of symptoms that usually people go, oh, that sounds like this or that sounds like that. So if someone was, uh, and, and then we're going to analyze that and show you how you can sort of go wrong or so you can call it what it really is. So if someone's feeling stressed out, low energy, can't fall asleep, they don't like exercising. This is really a, a big one, dizzy on standing or slightly eye sensitive to light, anxiety, need for coffee to get started and things like that. It might be getting sick a lot. Well, that sounds like what? That's a very traditionally reliable cluster of symptoms. A lot of practitioners would look at that and go, oh, that sounds like adrenal fatigue. Well, we're gonna show you that those symptoms aren't the problem and that it isn't adrenal fatigue either. And so first, I'm gonna show you, and you probably know this, that one of the ways that we measure stress is by looking at cortisol levels. So this is a key concept, and you might wanna come back to this, but it's used to determine stress levels. More importantly, the ability of the body to maintain hormone balance in cases where chronic stress is prevalent. So let's look at that. Let's take, uh, we got hormone levels here going from left to right and you can see it goes up and then it goes down so you stress is the good kind of stress there's there's good stress and there's bad stress 
good stress is actually formally known as eustress. When that's the predominance, then guess what? You could say the body adapts, it's perfectly designed to handle some stress. The body stays in homeostasis. And you have what you might call stress resolution. The body, you know, even within this range right here, this green range, it's going to go up and down a little bit. Why? Well, because your body's designed for that. But what happens when there's acute distress? So there's eustress and there's distress. What happens? Well, the cortisol is going to go up. Why? Well, because it's going to help you maintain that fight flight status. It's going to do all kinds of things, raise your blood pressure, along with adrenaline, by the way, it's going to raise blood pressure, it's going to raise your heart rate, it's going to make you see better, it's going to have the, the blood uh, go from the extremities into the central core of your body to protect your and keep functions like the central nervous system going. You're just basically going to be in a resistance phase. We call it an adaptation or at least attempted adaptation for a while or the acute phase of distress or stress. This, this is an acute phase of stress response. And guess what? How do you think you feel when you're there? How would you feel at the top? Yeah, you might feel good. There's people who have been going around for years kind of juggling all the balls and uh, spinning all the plates and they think they're doing great. I have had so many professional people tell me that, boy, I used to feel great. I could handle two jobs, plus take care of my kids and my spouse, make dinner, you know, all these different things, but I can't do it anymore. Well, what's happened is that distress has become predominant and the body starts to lose the ability to respond to it. So when we look at these states down here that I just introduced, the second question mark, if you will, how do you think they feel then? What's the typical thing a person's doing? Well, some really aren't seeking help yet. You know, they haven't got that bad. They just know something's wrong. And when they go to a physician, they usually get told there's nothing wrong with you. Your blood work looks normal. Well, doctors aren't testing cortisol in the blood, and they're not really looking for this kind of a response. They're making sure you aren't dying, and they're making sure you have nothing really seriously wrong with you. But they probably will miss something here, and it is the lack of ability to respond to chronic stress or distress predominance. Now, the main thing people do at that point is they self-medicate. They start drinking a lot of coffee in the morning. They start drinking maybe alcohol at night. You know, they start self-medicating in one way or another. Now, there's another phase and it's almost, it, it's kind of hard if you don't know what you're looking for to define or to at least to test for because guess what the test results look like they're in the normal range see they're about the same as in the adaptive state over on the left but they're now they're here so how do we know it's abnormal if they're right there because of the history and the complaints of the person they're saying i feel like crap I don't feel like I used to. I used to be able to handle all this stuff. Now I can't handle anymore. They don't exercise as much as they used to. And, you know, you, you get it. Life is sort of uh, an unhappy uh, experience for them. There's something about the way they look or the way they feel that they really want to change, sort of get back to uh, the old days if they can. So it's hard, pretty hard to identify this, but we have our ways. And we would call that, a, by the way, a compensatory state or phase. You can call it phases or stages or whatever you want. So, but the, the bottom line being that it's, there's a lot of stress and the body is not able to adapt like it used to. And it starts to break down until finally, we do see people in this later stage, we call it an exhaustion stage or phase. And that's when their test results are obviously low and anyone could see it. So which one of these is kind of the most dangerous state, if you will? Well, we'd say that uh, it's not the acute, phase because you're doing fine. You're actually able to adapt. You might even feel pretty good juggling all the balls. Yeah, man, I'm on it. You know, I can deal with it. Now, when you're in the exhaustion phase, that's also easy to identify and people then are getting the help they need usually. It's in this phase where we find a zillion people, a huge part of the population is here and they, we know that they've lost this ability to adapt, their body's breaking down, but it doesn't show up on blood work for the most part. And so these are the common progression of you know, adaptation when it comes to chronic stress, which we're all under. So is that coming through, Jen, pretty good? Anybody uh, 
uh, you know, yeah. saying anything you're, yet. You're doing okay. a great job. I see so, Jess is handling the questions over here and I think it's resonating with a, a lot of people. And this is part of uh, the free gift that we're gonna be giving you guys for hanging on with us and attending live is a special little guide in regards to the HPA access just of uh, progression of dysfunction. So stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I wanna go over it in a little more detail. So for the uh, those among us who really like to learn and you really like to see what's going on. So this is a normal stress response. I'll just go through the physiology a little bit, a little bit of anatomy thrown in, a little bit of biochemistry, if you will, but you can get this. I, I think you wouldn't have to have more than about ninth grade biology to get through this. So up in the brain, you have the hypothalamus pituitary. There's two little units that act as more or less a thermostat for a number of responses in the body and a lot of hormones. So you have the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the adrenals. Now, the adrenals, you know, are the stress glands, and they first usually get stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system. So if you get cut off in traffic, your eyes relay a signal directly to the adrenal medulla. Like your eyes are sending signals through the nervous system and it ends up, you know, going through the brain, obviously down the brain stem and eventually to the adrenal glands. And it happens instantaneously. I mean, you know, if you get cut off, what happens? Your heart rate goes up, your blood starts pumping faster, your eyes dilate, you start to sweat a little bit and so on and so on. So it turns some things on for survival and it turns some things off. For survival you're in the fight flight or you're going into the fight flight now it only takes 10 minutes or even less for the uh, other hormones to kick in this by the way here's that uh, i said adrenaline it's now called epinephrine and norepinephrine so that's the sympathetic nervous system responding when there's stress and then what happens is the hypothalamus puts out a hormone through the bloodstream and that puts out to the pituitary which puts out another hormone or activator into the bloodstream. And so finally, in the bloodstream, the adrenal cortex, there's three zones of the cortex, it gets the signal that you're under attack of some sort or stress of some sort. So there's a sympathetic nervous system, it's in instantaneous, and then it takes maybe 10 minutes for this uh, these hormones to get through the bloodstream to the adrenal cortex. And guess what? It starts responding to. How, why? To survival, to to kick in, it supports the adrenaline response. Now there's this one layer called the zona glomerulosa, but it just makes your aldosterone. That helps you regulate your uh, potassium and sodium and, and other uh, electrolytes in the bloodstream. They're very important, but probably more important, what people pay a lot more attention to is this cortisol. So again, there are three zones, the adrenal cortex. That helps us explain other things later. But basically, cortisol enhances adrenaline, the fight-flight mechanism. It lasts much longer, raises blood sugar. It's catabolic. Now, that means it breaks the body down. So probably not a good thing over a long period of time, unless it's balanced out by something. It aids in fat, protein, and carb metabolism. So why? So you can keep yourself going. So you can have enough blood sugar to feed your brain and think and things like that. So it increases glucose utilization by the central nervous system, which goes to brain, brain stem, and so on. And it suppresses gastric emptying. Like, you know you're not digesting food if you're going through this stress thing. It slows your digestion. And obviously you start thinking now, oh, I, you know, I've got constipation and, you know, my digestive system isn't that great and, and so on and so on. When you're in this pro-survival mode, this fight-flight mode. Now there's another really important hormone that is supposed to counteract the cortisol. It's made in a different zone of the adrenal cortex, the zona reticularis, and that's your DHEA, otherwise known as dehydroepiandosterone. It's counter-regulatory to the cortisol and stress hormones, and instead of being catabolic, which breaks the body down, it's anabolic. It builds the body up. It's also responsible for your sex hormones, reproduction, sex drive, and these kind of things. So let's say you have this normal stress response. You've got uh, some cortisol. Some cortisol goes up. Uh, your DHEA might start to go down. But what happens is you've got, when, when you get enough of this cortisol into the bloodstream, 
the HP, the hypothalamus pituitary, go, okay, there's enough. It's called the negative feedback loop. In other words, when they get enough, they see that, oh, okay, we've done our job. We've got the adrenals cranking out that cortisol. We're surviving. We're getting through this stressful situation, whatever it might be. And so this, they, they're very sensitive, and they can tell when they've done their job and, and it's good enough. And so they'll shut down the production of the CRH and the ACTH and so on. And guess what? You end up with this balance. Well, that's fine. You got catabolic, anabolic imbalance. You have your stress hormones and your sex hormones imbalance, and you pretty much have resolved the situation, right? <laughs> and that's great if you're like this uh, totally unstressed person, your life's perfect, and you um, also uh, have good healthy adrenal response or HPA axis response. But that's not what we're finding in the offices today, we're finding in our practices, and maybe you yourselves are more like this. We Remember, we went through the, uh, the first diagram, which shows you chronic distress. Now we're going to show it to you on a more physiological level, like what's actually going on. So we have all these chronic stressors, whether they're mental, emotional, I'm not going to read them all, but you know what they are, physical, Chemical and biochemical, that's the toxic environmental world around us. And believe it or not, existential angst, even just being uh, bored or, or not feeling like you're serving any purpose or you have no meaning in your life, this idea of hopelessness or despair, things like that can be very stressful. They basically do the same thing. You get this uh, adrenaline, you get the uh, cortisol response, but the sensitivity to the feedback goes down. I'm going to go ahead and spin those around again. So you get this reduced HP sensitivity to cortisol and a dysfunctional negative feedback loop. Well, that's just one aspect of how the body starts breaking down from chronic stress. I can give you many others in other lessons. But basically, it's a chronic stress overload. And here we have, the, since, since the CRH and ACTH don't know when to quit, they just stay elevated. And that's what keeps your adrenals elevated. It keeps them trying to produce more cortisol. And you end up in this catabolic state. You end up with cortisol dominance. And your DTA gets suppressed. Well, that's your sex drive. That's your ability to build muscle. That's your energy. That's a lot of things. And over here in the catabolic state, again, um, you're suppressing digestion. You're suppressing reproduction. You're suppressing a lot of things just to try to survive. So you have this right here in the red box, elevated cortisol to DHC ratio, and the chronic stress cascade kicks in. I'll show you that in a minute. And guess what? That really starts to have an effect. And so people coming with all of these problems, whether it be energy production or just body chemistry or immune activity and things, it can all start to uh, be sort of, you, you got to sort of go upstream and at least look at these chronic stress response hormones and what's going on. And it's just one way that we sort of look upstream. We know what the chronic stress cascade looks like, showing it to you here on paper. You know what it's like in life. You've got all this 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 stuff going on. You're unhealthy, and you go and get your uh, blood checked, and it kind of looks normal because they're just not looking with the same point of view or the same lens that we do. So is that adrenal fatigue, or is that your whole world is upside down and your adrenals are just getting the finger pointed at them? Well, I would venture to tell you that the adrenals themselves may actually just be hanging in there, struggling but trying to do what you tell it to do. They're just really the, getting, they're the whipping boy, you know. Uh, they're really just the slave of what's going on in your world. And, and that's being delivered to the adrenals through the hypothalamus pituitary. And there are other things that affect the adrenals, but those are two main ones. So what I'm gonna tell you is that it's, it's no longer just adrenal fatigue. It's what I said in the beginning, it's metabolic chaos. So we'll take one more look at it, and one time, and, and again, here's the hormones, here's the immune system, here's neurotransmitters, the autonomic nervous system, that's your sympathetic versus parasympathetic balance. CR means the circadian rhythm, going to bed on time or not, 
and the limbic system, how you perceive the world matters. So you have all these inputs going to the HP, you have the CRH, and you could have the problems right there. In other words, I, I showed you how it could be going, but now I'm going to show you more in depth what is going on, like that idea of metabolic chaos. There's lots of things that are just going to mess with the hypothalamus. It's, again, the neurotransmitters, the drugs, immune system, toxins, circadian rhythm, autonomic nervous system issues, other hormones, and other things I haven't written down here. And guess what? The symptoms of it being hypothalamic or your hypothalamus are going to be the same as with adrenal fatigue. Now, it could also be the pituitary. It could be that it's just not making enough ACTH. There could be problems with the pituitary uh, receiving the signal from the hypothalamus. It could also be direct neurotransmitter influence on the pituitary. Now, I hope I'm not using too many five-syllable words. I might even throw a couple six-syllable words at you. But the bottom line is there's just lots of other dysfunction, what we call metabolic chaos, to consider. Before you start just blaming it, oh, it's adrenal fatigue. So now there's there is such a thing as adrenals having... Uh, uh, you can jump in a sec, Jen, here, but I was going to say, there are autoimmune conditions. There, There is ways that you could have some adrenal dysfunction, but the adrenals aren't one gland. There are four glands in one. Remember, there's the medulla in the center, and the cortex around that is three different layers, each one independently producing its own basic hormones or main hormones. So these receptors inside those zones can get blocked by toxicity the immune system and all the other things we've been talking about so if you have adrenal fatigue well which part you know and how fatigued is it you know and, and so it just starts to be again the, the best description is metabolic chaos eh? yeah definitely and i just want to jump in here and just reiterate like how important this is because I think for, I still see this going on, Read like so many people are talking about adrenal fatigue and it's not, ad adrenal fatigue is not really a thing and we need to start shifting our mind around this and understanding that one, it's just a symptom of something greater going on in the body, right? That that is not, we hear so much talk about like, oh, get to the root cause, get to the root cause. Well, something like this isn't even the root cause because it is, you know, a contributor to and a result of metabolic chaos as we're kind of learning here, but also just getting rid of like getting away from the terminology of ad adrenal fatigue because the adrenals aren't really like fatigued in a sense as we maybe assumed before. And also just getting away from like diagnosing, like putting a label on it and understanding, like really looking at the bigger picture of what Reed is showing you here, because as you can see, this is multifactorial and is not located in one area or in one instance. And that's how we can really start to help people is starting to zoom out actually and look at this bigger picture here and um, stop chasing the symptoms as we're talking about because this is you know just a factor of what we're talking about, this bigger concept of metabolic chaos essentially. Yeah, and we're not done yet because there's other reasons why you could have the same symptoms of adrenal fatigue, quote unquote, adrenal fatigue. Remember that the liver is highly involved because cortisol binding globulin, also known as transcortin, can be overbinding or underbinding the free cortisol. You know, cortisol is produced in the adrenals, but it is going to travel around the body. Most of the cortisol traveling around your body is not free cortisol it's bound up cortisol and things can happen to it that will make it inactive it could even be completely turned off by uh this function of the kidneys basically to to de purposely deactivate it why would your body deactivate your cortisol because it knows your body's burning things up so it's still all part of a very unique uh just sort of orchestration of hormones in order to survive. But the symptoms in each one of these cases, whether it was put hypothalamic, pituitary, adrenals themselves, liver and binding issues, or just a straight up shunt into cortisol, the symptoms are gonna be the same. So just labeling that adrenal fatigue, I think is all wrong. It is metabolic chaos. 
and, and metabolic chaos is more than just endocrine function. It involves nerve tissues. It involves the musculoskeletal system. It involves the ability to break down and absorb food. It involves the regulation of inflammatory factors in the body, fat metabolism, protein metabolism, mucosal barrier breakdown, and digestive disorders. All are the same. They're just metabolic chaos. So we look at all of those things and the symptoms that come along with those things the exact same way. It's There's always a reason. It's always pretty far upstream. And you're probably not going to figure it out. Not exactly. So this idea of looking for the root cause is important. And yeah, we look. But so much of it is completely undetectable. So we just need to be able to have an effect upon it, which I'm going to go over with you. So in the old paradigm of adrenal fatigue, that's like telling this hoarder here that she just needs a bigger trailer. You know, she doesn't just need a bigger trailer. She needs a place that's clean. She needs to get rid of the clutter. She needs to like start sorting out what's going on with this area, what's going on with that area. Is it hypothalamic pituitary? Is it liver and detoxification problems? It, we didn't even go over this, but cellular and organ tissues themselves, the sensitivity, resistance, blood sugar, inflammation, the, the uh, different areas of the adrenal, of course, all of which can produce the same symptoms. And the new paradigm is that it's metabolic chaos, our one diagnosis. So this is what health coaches get to do. Unless you're a doctor, you can't provide a medical diagnosis. But the health coach diagnosis is metabolic chaos. So now we talked a lot about the labs that would test this. Who, who would want to run one? Was anybody here who would like to run a lab? And even if you already do, just say yes, please. Just say, yeah, I'd like to run a lab or I'd be able to. Or even if it's just on yourself or check yourself or maybe you have a client you want to check. And Jen, you could let me know if we're getting any oh, yeah. hands raised. That we're getting a lot of hell yeses okay. right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to I'm going to quickly go over a, a, a curriculum here that we're going to reintroduce later. There's still more to the slideshow, but I want to just give those of you a chance to understand what's going on here. Our, our course in how you can and become fully authorized from lab work amazing lab work, or, uh, blood, saliva, urine, and stool, all the things that we check, which adrenals is only one small part. But we have uh, seven modules on the lab work, case studies, documentation of your cases, so you don't get it wrong and you always get it right. And you can work on your own schedule and get real clarity on how you're going to solve your client's problems. Get real clarity. Now, clarity could be called confidence. But I like, like, I just like to say, you will be clear. And again, this is a self-directed, self-paced course. There's five modules on our protocols, which is everything from how you eat, how you go to bed and exercise, looking for hidden stressors and all the ways to reduce the stressors and supplementation. And you'll become an expert in each one of those things. You'll know exactly how to fix the problems you find. So here we find the problems. Here we fix them. And when I say fix them, I don't mean like a doctor that's going to, you know, stitch you up when you, you know, have, are bleeding or, you know, just give a drug and, oh, that seems to be fixed. I'm talking about really let the body heal itself. And clients say, oh, you fixed me. We say, no, we just let your body heal. Yeah. And there's three modules on the business and health coaching because most health coaches I know, most health coaches I know need to do this for a living. They do this for a living. It's not their hobby. So if it's your hobby, that means you need to be taught how to do it as a professional and, and do it as a professional instead. So you can you know, change your job, whatever you want to do. Now there's mentoring sessions. There's a lot of one-on-one -on -one practicing what you learned, plus going over your own personal lab tests. There's every kind of documentation that we've created over 20 years of doing this for a living, everything you need right at your fingertips. And there's an amazing community. Uh, there's where you go to learn. And then there's Facebook groups, depending on whether you're a trainee or a graduate or and what have you. And weekly calls. I think we're doing like four weekly calls. We do Facebook Lives. We do a Friday podcast every uh, Friday. We do other meetings uh depending on whether you are a trainee or a or a graduate and you're basically also going to get hooked up with all your peers to get peer support so uh you might want to jot this down now 
and it's a code that's going to give you a real super big discount to our course it's the hpa 500 that's the code you need and that's for a huge discount there's also a place here you could go and roll right now if you want to so you know back on the previous last slide there if you want to run a lab you need to get fully authorized boards board certified to do it and that's what we're all about so we've done this before i've been doing this for 12 years and there's a whole lot of people just waiting for you to join the family. So the way I look at it is this, we're all health coaches. This is for you if you're committed to greater health for yourself, for your clients, and uh, those you serve, what I just said. Have a strong desire to help others and are seeking guidance and wisdom. And I will tell you a little bit about myself. I've been doing this for 20 years. I worked in a clinic for 10 and I helped thousands of people. And I made my own observations about who got better, who didn't. And I codified it all. I put it into a system that now is known around the world as FDN. And I, I went from struggling, or this is what a lot of people say, but I personally went from struggling to grow my business and retain clients a long time ago to feeling amazing, doing my best work, helping clients to feel and perform at their best. And it took me 10 years to figure it out. And I'm going to save you the 10 years to tell you that you really all you have to do is learn from someone who's been there and done it. So you want to help others and you're unable to see deeper issues without access and training and functional lab work. You are committed to healing, but need a system you can feel confident in. You don't want to be just another step in your client's cycle of trial and error. So again, you can grow your business by being the last professional your clients need to see because you actually solved their problem. Now, I'll just tell you that uh, in the office, when I started working there 20 years ago, that was the number one thing people had to say to me. It was that uh, everyone coming in the door is uh, has already been to see five or eight practitioners. I mean, that really blew my mind. And I, I didn't really wasn't in the health business before that. I was in the environmental law field, saving the planet. And I wanted to start saving people instead of just birds and bees. So I started working at this clinic and everyone walking in had seen five, eight or 10 practitioners spent thousands of dollars and they weren't well. And I said, that sucks. You know, that's, that's a ripoff. You know, like something has to be done about this. And I spent the next 10 years becoming a nutritionist and personal trainer and massage therapist and all these things. And it all helped a little bit, but it wasn't until I started running labs. I ran labs. I ran thousands of labs on thousands of people because I was really good at getting new customers. That's a different story for a different day. But that gave me all of the basic understanding I have. And along with tremendous mentorship, I had just some of the best, wisest, most experienced mentors who helped nurture me along as, as I filled in the blanks and, and discovered a system that anyone can use. So I want to tell you, it's as easy as this, one, two, three. Three steps to resolving metabolic chaos. Jen, are we giving away something on this, or what, what are we giving away today? So today we have the HPA um, access progressions chart that they're going to get as part of attending. Um, as we okay. said, we also have some extra bonuses related to the course that I know you're about to get to. So, but the HPA access like progressions dysfunction chart like helps you to understand that as Reed was like showing like the different stages of that as well. Mm -hmm. Again, but we want to look at mm -hmm. that as once we understand that that is a symptom or a sign of something greater that's going on, we need to get to the bottom of it do some lab testing, correlate that back with the person and really understand how we can help them and guide recommendations for them as we're talking about here in these three easy steps. So the first step we, we kind of went through, and thank you, Jen, um, you assess the underlying conditions and contributors to metabolic chaos. That's my way of saying root cause, because after running thousands and thousands of labs on thousands of people, you'd be lucky to find the real root cause. Sometimes you can, but that's not really that important. I'll tell you why in a minute. It's very comprehensive onboarding, including careful history taking and lab investigation. We basically run four or five labs in every person, and we know what the healing opportunities are. Once we know what the healing opportunities are, we can go to step two, customize a DRESS program. 
advanced diet, rest, exercise, stress reduction supplements. It's highly individualized. There's no two people alike. And you need to know how to individualize it. That's another thing going wrong out there with nutritionists and, and people who are helping others. And they're using a one-size-fits-all system and hoping it works. They're saying, well, I have a system. Why don't you try it? You know, and the person tries it goes, nah, thanks anyway. <laughs> so it's when you can completely customize it that you actually have a real system. So uh, step three, of course, once you design a program is to run the program, the health, co health coaching process. Now, Jen, how many people here, if we could find out with a show of hands or something that you are actually already a health coach? Maybe if you just want to be a health coach, that'd be cool too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you that you, you probably are a great health coach. If you have the desire to help others, especially if you sort of had a couple of your own little personal challenges and you persevered and you have a positive mental attitude, if you feel like, um, wow, I got through this and, and I know it can be done and I know other people could do it too. If you have that kind of mentality, then you need to learn step one and two because you've got the basic foundation. You just need a program that actually works. So our, ours is simple. You coach up function. We test the functions and we coach them up, the ones that need help. We coach down the contributors to metabolic chaos. That's the things that are interfering. And health is restored. We course correct as needed. Clients get better. Causal factors are resolved or vital voids are revealed. Now, there are people with certain genetic problems and they might need to take a certain supplement or something. There are people with parts missing. It's kind of hard to grow back. They probably need some support too. And things like that. But it's really quite a process. And this is, I would call it the ultimate health coaching process. I, I see here again, we figure out what needs fixing and help fix it. That's more like what clients would say, because we know that we're not fixing it. The body's healing itself and so on and so on. You know, we just kind of, this is kind of what it looks like out in the world. So step one, I'm just going to go into a little bit of detail here. Uh, I've already shown you um, there's a website, there's a discount code. You guys could go jump on this, but you probably want to wait to hear Jen's special, special, special offer. And we run these tests on the hormones, on the immune system, on digestion, on detoxification, energy production, and the nervous system. H I D D E N. And my, you know, thousands of clients, thousands of labs, that's what I learned. That's the pieces of the puzzle I filled in. And I like putting things in an order I can make it easy to remember. So I, I like to invent these acronyms like hidden, uh, but you can put it in any order you want. If it's the adrenals, which is where we started here today. What, what area is that in? What area of uh, healing opportunities? That in? It's in the hormones. It's in the area of hormones. Everything else might flow downstream from that. And some of it might flow upstream to the hormones. And so that's why we have to use a step-by-step -step system. So step one is this. It's the hidden internal stressors and dysfunction, which highly correlate with just about every common chronic health complaint you're going to find out there. So everything your clients are complaining about, and you might be working around the edges of it, like with your massage, your personal training, or your nutrition, and what have you, you're working around the edges of it. And we're showing you here how you get right down deep in, in the middle of it. And uh, it's a beautiful place to be. So it's the HPA, adrenal stress, and steroidal hormone lab. We run this lab. We look at a lot of cortisol and sex hormones. And we take a lot of things into consideration. Here's somebody with a real high cortisol, probably in what we call that acute phase. Here's uh, somebody else. Um, now, there's no way of knowing uh, what the um, how long this has been going on from a test, but you can talk to a person. You know, how long have you felt this way? Oh, my God. They're telling you, like, two years, five years, ten years. You know, it's just amazing how long people can just, you know, the human body can take a lot of abuse, can't it? So that person, because they're way up here, um, their total is 54, total of cortisol is 54. You can see where they're up here on this chart. They're way up here. When you show a person that, when they get it, like they go, yeah, wow. You know, like um, I think I was even worse before, but this is bad. You won't find a lot of people here because remember what I said? They don't, they don't always feel bad. But here's one at 54. 
54. That one was at 54. Now, I'm not showing you the chart here in each one of these, but basically they go down, 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 and they end up here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these, these lab results. The next one down here, this person is going to show up with hypoglycemia. They're shaky, lightheaded, sleep issues. Immune system is unbalanced. They're at a high risk for infections. They probably get colds more than everyone else. They have sugar cravings. They need to eat often. It's, this is highly involved in the standard American diet, chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, and things like that, fibromyalgia and what have you. Low blood pressure. Allergies, chemical sensitivity, stressed out feelings, depression, cold body temperature, lots and lots of stuff. So people show up like that all the time. And, and believe it or not, you could still be told by your physician that your blood work looks normal or pretty normal. Oh, well, look, you, you on top of all that, you've got uh, some, some uh, high cholesterol. So here's some cholesterol medication and so on and so on. It's really remarkable. This person could be overweight, pre-diabetic, lots of other stuff going on. So our job is to sort that out. And you need a basic philosophy that is not medical, unless you have a license, but that is scientific and helpful. So the chronic stress cascade works like this. There are hidden stresses and imbalances. They pour into the body. And if not soon resolved, they do cascade into other areas. It was showing you the HP adrenals. That's a cascade of sorts. And from there, it goes down into all those other dysfunctions. So metabolic chaos is the primary condition that ensues. You end up with dysfunction, leads to disease and symptoms. But the real problem is the metabolic chaos. And that's our one diagnosis. Depending on one's own individual weak links in metabolism, you end up with dysfunction in different areas. That could be the immune system, digestion, detoxification, on and on. And then finally, based on even further metabolic individuality, leads to disease and symptoms. Now, that's how the problem appears or shows up. And typically, that's what gets treated, especially in a, uh, with the standard American medicine. It's like, here's your pill for your symptoms. Uh, modern medicine today still doesn't look very far upstream. And we would say that the stream is our background. That's our backyard. What's way upstream is what health coaches can help with. The symptoms may be far removed from the causal factors or stressors, which are usually found way upstream if you find them. Now, the good news is that if, even if you don't find them, you can still have an effect upon them. And you we have that effect with the Dress for Health Success program. We apply wellness principles and address all the healing opportunities at once with diet, individualized, corrective diet to corrective diet, rest, sleep, corrective sleep, correcting someone's sleep hygiene, exercise. Some people do too little. Some people do too much. Stress reduction is maybe one of the biggest areas along with diet because it's uh, ubiquitous everywhere and there's all kinds and supplements I don't have my own company but I do know a lot about them and we teach a lot of that too because they can be very very helpful and this is a process so effective FDN was granted a trademark by the USPTO and uh, it's quite quite a remarkable way of thinking so in summary it's the life force in your body, vital reserve, we call it, the intelligence in every cell, tissue, organ, and gland. You don't have to teach those things what their job is. Versus the contributors to metabolic chaos. We coach up this vital reserve. We coach up function, as I said in a previous slide, using dress, while we coach down anything that contributes to chaos, metabolic chaos. And is it adrenal fatigue, I ask you? Anyone? Still want to use that term anymore, or have you scared? Have we scared you off? Of <laughs> I got scared off it a long time ago. Um, so look, it, you have metabolic chaos. You, we we don't chase symptoms. We don't even ch chase the values of the labs. We understand root cause may never be known, but we can have an effect upon it. We we learn. We we have learned to fill this needs gap and sort out metabolic chaos and help people transform. Usually beginning with ourselves. So if you're ready for uh, your metabolic chaos plan, here's the plan. 
join the world's leading health coach training program. Now, by the way, that you could consider that kind of the last slide before I start telling you what your next steps might be. And I appreciate you guys being here very much. I hope that you've learned something about the physiology, anatomy, biochemistry. Hope you've learned that you don't have to be a physician to get really deep and help your clients on a really deep level and beginning with yourself. And that there's a business opportunity and you know, it's that you can do what you're doing and probably triple or quintuple your value by being able to run these labs and help people well, when no one else could. So here's the plan, it's join the world's leading health coach training program, then finish the program, learn these investigative skills and identifying healing opportunities and how to apply the wellness principles and walk your clients along a proven path using our health coaching system and, and how to package and price your service to make a great living doing what you love and grow your business by getting real results in your client's health and well-being. It's the only way you're gonna grow a, a referral-based business. And again, here's the uh, stuff on the curriculum. We're very, very proud of it. It only gets better every time we iterate the course. And typically, don't go away, because the course itself is uh, valued at over $8,000, actually. But included, which is almost priceless, is this board certification now from the American Association of Drugless Practitioners. It fully endorsed, fully approved, and certified our course. When you take our course and get our certification, you become an FDN practitioner. You also become a board certified holistic health practitioner. It's really kind of an amazing thing. And um, we also include labs on yourself and going over those test results with you. So you can be on your own march or journey using the techniques and the methods and the tools that you're gonna use on your clients. Do it on yourself. So um, the other part of it that people just find amazing is the amount of support through our uh, training community. It's fully monitored. So the whole time you're in the course, it's about a six month course, uh, you're gonna get fully supported there. And that has tremendous value. You also get the peer-to-peer -peer stuff. You can get study buddies. Um, we also have a way for you to actually start getting return on investment immediately. Maybe you have some friends to bring in the course. We have an affiliate program so that you get uh, rewarded uh, nicely for that. And then you'll have your, your best friends or your coworkers to, to be in your study group. Uh, there's the business module, which I think this is way undervaluing it, but um, you, it, it, we're gonna teach you um, how to get all your investment back in just a very, very short time once you graduate. All the documentation took me 20 years. All of the uh, other things in the resource area, uh, hundreds and hundreds of recorded case calls and things like that. That's extra training you can take if you want to. And then you also get a membership in Natural Medicines Database. So rather than going PubMed, and be made to pay for certain studies or you can't understand what the hell they're talking about because it's you know all researchers language and things like that the natural medicines database is the place to go now if you go there today it'll cost you 200 dollars a year to belong and you get a free membership uh in that uh as an fdn practitioner um our community is absolutely amazing there's a picture of the uh Right before we started the dance party, you can see the band in the background uh, waiting us for hit, waiting to hit the lights and, and start the dance. So that was a, a big banquet at the conference we had last year. Uh, we do an annual conference for all of our certified FDNs and and their guests, um, and all of these different things that come through the alumni group. And uh, you get a free online store. So all FDN grads get a free Get Healthy supplement and product store for your website. So you don't have to worry anymore about where your clients are going to buy their stuff. They're going to buy it from you. And it's right on your uh, website if you have one. If you don't have one, it's okay. You still give them a, a place to go Then it, where it is your store. And all your client does is hit the checkout button. So you, you actually go in there and fill out their cart for them of what you are recommending. All they have to do is go in there is check out. It's, it's just a remar remarkable development. So that's an amazing amount of value. I didn't even put all the different bonuses in here, but you have the course, the running labs in yourself, the business module, the support uh, during your training, and then of course, all of our uh, business documents, including a really good onboarding uh, 
paperwork, like how to onboard people step by step, and our legal documents for a value of, I, I think it's more, if this was a college course, you'd probably pay $50,000 for it, but it's available online through us exclusively for only $64.95. And that's a big savings, of course. And then here, Jen, I'm going to let you take over. I always get to talk about the fun stuff. Well, first of all, I want to like, let's share our shirts again, because that's part of the fun stuff here. So I'm going to turn my webcam back on and you guys can see, oops, let me just shift my view here. We got our cool test don't guest shirts on that have the FDN logo. Probably can't see it that well on my, my long hair on the back, but Reed can stand up and model for us. There we go. Flex it, Reed. Flex those less. <laughs> and, uh, so first of all, I want to say like these shirts are specifically for our tribe and our community, and this is a great marketing tool. So we, anybody that's enrolling in the next 24 hours from the webinar today, we are going to send you your free FDN branded shirt so you can start getting the word out there. And I say this because you, I can't tell you how many of our FDNs have had a waiting list for clients before they even finish the course because there's not a lot of other people or health coaches or health professionals out there that are doing this kind of work that are really making a difference in people's lives and when you start when you get into the course and you start sharing all this information that Reed shared with you today as you're learning it and then people are automatically going to be like asking you questions, asking if they can work with you, and you can start developing a waiting list before you've even graduated. So you have clients that are waiting to work with you to do this kind of work. And I saw that we did have some aspiring health coaches, people who want to become health coaches um, on the webinar today. We have current health coaches that are probably looking to build their business and their base, as well as some um, other types of health practitioners like dietitians that are looking for more tools in your toolbox so that you can actually stop that cycle of trial and error like Reed was talking about and be the last person that they need to see in order to actually get better. So we're gonna give you one of these cool shirts if you enroll the next 24 hours. As Reed mentioned before, we have a great discount on the course um, for you to take advantage of. We don't do this very often, but you can get $500 off if you act um, today or by February 29th. And we're gonna throw in an extra bonus for you. So today we obviously talked a lot about the HPA access and hormones and um, outside of the uh, FDN foundations course that we talked about um, today, we also have FDN level two. And FDN level two is where we dive even deeper into some um, more advanced testing that you kind of add onto the foundations. And the advanced hormones course is an, an advancement beyond that. And that's because in the main foundations course, we cover a lot of hormone testing based on saliva. And in the advanced course, we're going to dive deeper into hormone testing with urine and also with blood. So you get all three aspects of that. And we're throwing in this advanced course as a bonus for everybody who signs up by February 29th uh, to advance your education. And it's like a stepping stone already towards your level two. So Reed talked about you know, when you do FDN foundations, you get to apply for your board certification. I saw that was a question that we had in here in the chat box that I think Jess was probably addressing on there um, through the AADP. And then through FDN level two, like as you work your way through FDN level two, and we even have a level three that's in progress right now, you're accumulating uh, casework time essentially that's going to help you to then qualify for future types of board certifications that we're working on as well. So we really try to be, you know, front of the the pack a leader in the industry for you guys when it comes to this stuff as the health coaching industry is evolving. So we're throwing in, just to recap again, anybody who signs up in the next 24 hours, you get a cool test, don't guess, FDN branded, either tank top or t-shirt of your choice. Um, also for everybody that uh, signs up in the next 24 hours and by February 29th, we're throwing in the advanced hormones course to dive deeper into the hormone side of things to educate you on urine and blood testing when it comes to hormones on top of the saliva um, knowledge that you're going to get in the foundations course. And we're here to answer any questions that you have. You get $500 off with that code HPA500. So you can actually go to read. Let's flip back to the slide that has the URL. And Jess, I think you've been putting this in the chat as well. Yep. I see the 
um, the URL is there in the chat so you guys can click on it directly from there. But if you go to fdn.today slash full course and enter in the code HPA500, you're instantly gonna see that $500 off. If you guys have more questions um, and you wanna talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, like Jess said, she's one of our course counselors that's on the line with us today. You can schedule an appointment with a course counselor. Actually, if you go to our website also, you can have a one-on-one -on -one chat with Jess and our other course counselors, Piper and Kelly. Um, so Jess, let's answer some questions. It looks like you've been kind of managing questions there, but I wanna address some of the questions that people have on the webinar so everybody can see the responses and get the information that's being shared back there. So what are some of the questions that have been coming through? Don't forget to unmute yourself, Jess. There we go. There you are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All right, so we've had some really great questions, actually, um, from Brazil. Uh, Mayra was asking, because they have such stringent uh, rules and restrictions there, are we able to help with testing for clients and give a professional advice for her uh, working with clients? in Brazil? Let me ask you that. Uh, Brazil's tough because of their restrictions. Uh, we're in 50 countries and we actually have one or two people who signed up from Brazil, but it's because they have strong American ties. And so what they do is they, they don't use the saliva, the urine, the stool testing and things like we do here. They just are pretty much bound to just getting local doctors to run blood work. And then we teach them how to do the blood work. Uh, matter of fact, uh, well, I'll, I'll go into this later. But but um, <clears throat> the um, Brazil Brazilians that we do have, and it's just one or two, um, they have clients in the United States. So that, you know, this is designed perfectly to do distance coaching. It's it's uh, we have a lot of FDNs have brick and mortar, but um, uh, the truth is that um, you, it, some of it you can't do from Brazil. I mean, everywhere else, uh, 50 countries, we're all over Canada, United Kingdom, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, even like Hong Kong and uh, other uh, Asian countries. We have South Africa. So lots and lots of countries. But Brazil is um, restrictive for whatever reason. And um, you're gonna, you'd be restricted to doing only certain labs. But what you're not restricted in is using the dress rehearsal skills program to use our mentality. To get people well, you still won't find a better coaching program. You will struggle with the labs in Brazil. Though. I would still do it just to get the education. And also, again, if you're like if you're online with us now, then I know you're you know global and you can have clients in the United States. And when your clients who live in Brazil visit the United States, as they often do, they can do all the testing while they're here. Mm -hmm. And I'll just chime in with that too. Like I, you know, I think we want to think outside of our immediate vicinity. Like I'm in San Diego and I have clients that are in Australia. I have clients that are in the UK. I have clients that are in Canada as well as all over the US. So we're not, you know, that's kind of the cool thing about FDN is a couple things is one, our community is expansive. We have over 3,000 graduates and trainees in 50 different countries, people that are doing this work in all kinds of places. We have a lot of support. We also have a lot of um, partnerships with labs in the UK and Australia around the world to help us facilitate lab testing in the areas that we can get it into. You know, Reid, I think you always bring up like the example of China. Like China is just in general a country that's hard to ship things in and out of. So maybe a little bit more challenging yeah. to try and do lab testing and things like that over there. However, like the testing are part of the tools, but the magic is in the methodology that we kind of apply as well. So that dress protocol is a huge piece of, of what it is that we do. Um, but you know, in short, it's to think like, you don't have to be, you're not restricted to working with people that are in your city, your state or your country. You can, you can work virtually with all kinds of um, people out there. So great question. What else do we got, Jess? So we have Esther uh, wanted to know more about how we help our grads with launching their business. So I'd already explained that we have tons of information throughout the course and Reed, you go really in depth on how you set up your business. And I know if you follow that, many of our grads are able to launch their practice very quickly. 
all that and moreover we have an alumni group so we have this we call it the association of fdn professionals and that's people who do it for a living you know if fdn is going to be your hobby that's fine you probably don't need a lot of coaching in that area but if it's going to be your profession you need to handle it like a profession so if you're already a personal trainer you know i'm not going to assume too much but you're probably making 50 or 60 dollars an hour this is more like 200 dollars an hour so we, we expect you to if you're going to do this for a living to be a professional you don't have to you can just do it on yourself and your family but if you want to go out and make a really good living that's what you can do so we have a whole alumni group which this year is going to end up having an apprenticeship program attached to it uh for you and and as uh just, as just said the, the lessons themselves the basic lessons include my model and more importantly my onboarding sessions so i teach you how to onboard and you even practice an onboarding session we want you ready to roll so uh, i do these post-grad interviews and i get all all types people who've never run a lab uh until they started uh, doing fdn they run it on themselves we you do mock-up clients and we have people who uh, already have clients and other things they got 10 people lined up you know they, they got 10 people ready to run labs because they've been out there in their own you know, current businesses and practices telling everybody what they're doing social you know, all the different things people do nowadays and so they've got people lined up so whether you have never you know no one to run a lab on or have 10 people waiting uh, there's a next step for you. There's another level of support. And of course, mm -hmm. I would do that. Of course, mm -hmm. I would provide that because my purpose isn't just to make money off a course. It's to get, is to deputize as many people as possible to go out in the world and do the work. That's why I started the course. Right. And I'll just chime in too. I mean, Reed and I just did a great um, extra training session this past week about how to create your, how to put your packages together. And I have my own practice as an FDN and I came out of the course and I did exactly what Reed told me. And I made $5,000 within my first month as a full-time FDN practitioner, was matching my corporate income and was able to officially leave that and do that. And so Reed has really given us, you know, this gift of a duplicatable process, as he was saying. And there's a ton of additional resources and support, as Reed was saying, in the uh, alumni group that we have to further you in this process and help you grow and expand and scale your business in so many ways. So what else do we have, Jess? Uh, well, piggybacking off of that, we had Michelle who asked, if you decide not to take on one clients, would FDN be a good course for you to create your own digital products like books and courses and other things like that? I'm not sure what the question is asking for. Like, I think what she's kind of asking is, you know, could I take this information and maybe create like group programs based upon it? So if she doesn't want to work one on one with clients, is there a way to like go through the course? learn this information and then take it to create you know group programs uh -oh. and different yeah, group things. programs well mm -hmm. you can address that yeah so i run a lot of group programs based on the fdn um philosophy and methodology that i've learned sometimes those group programs include testing and sometimes they don't but again like the magic is in the methodology and how you're educating people and assessing them and so that is definitely an option um, for a lot of people. We talk about, you know, how to utilize group programs to either um, build your one-on-one -on -one clientele or to scale your business. And so, you know, there's other programs like online evergreen programs that would fall under that kind of loop as well too. I think that's, does that sound like we're answering her question there, Jess? Yeah, I believe so. I think it's what you're saying is taking the same fundamentals with FDN. We've seen so many of our FDMPs throughout the years, create their own programs, create their own courses, write books, you know, um, have group programs. So it's definitely something that's a great foundation if that's your trajectory outside of working with clients one-on-one -on -one for sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, we just got one more question from Sherry that says, have you had FDN practitioners work with people with strokes or eye problems? Yeah, there's no limit to what you could do now. Strokes and eye problems need medical attention, so obviously we work hand in hand with doctors. I tried to explain that early in today's webinar that we are integrative, 
that you're going to need physicians. As a matter of fact, I did a, a Facebook Live today on that with Piper, um, Jen and, and Jess, and we talked a lot about how we integrate with physicians when they have a medical condition. So we're not a substitute for physicians. They have their backyard, which is medical conditions. Usually they're serious, and they get people... Uh, you know, patched up and, and uh, out of the woods, so to speak. And then they're in our backyard where we use diet and rest and exercise and stress reduction and supplementation. We run functional labs that show us imbalances in the hormones, the immune system, digestion, detoxification. And we're able to support that person, you know, coach up function while we coach down the contributors to metabolic chaos and they just get better. Now, when you do that hand in hand with someone who needs medical attention, such as a stroke, and when you said eye problems, I'm not sure which ones, but typically they would be their, you know, they're going to see their primary care physician for that because they want to not die. You know? So um, if you're uh, having a stroke, you're not going to call your FDN practitioner. You're not going to call your nutritionist or your massage therapist. Not first, you're going to call a physician or go to the emergency room. And that's what we do. And then we integrate with that. So once the doctor has you patched up and out of the woods, uh, let's say you let's say you were drowning, you consider drowning. Well, you got to get a life belt on them, get them over to the edge of the pond. And that's where we take over because that's where they end. You know, that's where they typically end. All right, you're patched up, go home and 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 behave yourself. You know, well, we're part of that behavior program. Yeah, I see Sherry was adding to that. I think the per she was the one asking the question. She's an eye doctor. And this is a great like way to advance your education and like add more resources and tools into your practice or maybe convert all together. But I'll just share, you know, some insight on this because I actually experienced this a little bit is my eyesight was starting to decline um, as a result of metabolic chaos that was happening in my body. I had some thyroid stuff that was going on and everything. And the doctor prescribed me glasses and a year later I went back and I had perfect 2020 vision and I didn't need glasses anymore. And so, you know, if we think about what Reed shared with us today in terms of metabolic chaos and like, you know, issues with vision, um, unless it's like, you know, like a, uh, uh, emergency kind of situation, like Reed's talking about things that are like accumulating over time, um, that are being progressive, like that is probably a huge sign of metabolic chaos. And so when we instill the knowledge that we learned through the FDN course, we see a lot of these things kind of start to reverse themselves or go away completely because they were just a result of metabolic chaos. So great. Do we have yep. any other questions, Jess? I know we're kind of running over time here, so I want to be respectful. I, I just want to, I want to answer, I want to answer one we always get, and that is about, you know, how does the FDN differ from other health coaching courses? Yeah. Well, mine, uh, this one is based on my experience in the clinic for 10 years being a patient educator. That was my job. And now I was a patient educator for the doctors who work there. I got to run my own labs. There's no other course where the instructor and founder of the whole program has that much experience. It's practical. It's based on just day in, day out, looking at Mr. Smith and Mrs. Jones in the face and running labs on them when they had nowhere else to turn because they'd already been to five or 10 practitioners and been uh, and still had their original complaints or most of them. And so it's the only course like that. It's the only one I teach. And it's the only one I know of that gives you a medical director program so you can get labs on all your clients. So there's that and there's lots of other reasons. I mean, if you look at the, the, the bonuses I talked about here, the one-on-one -on -one role playing, uh, that you might find in other courses, but it's going to be based around just positive psychology. You know, tell them to be happy. Tell them to pray. Tell them to, no. Tell, we tell them, look at these lab results and look where this is going if you don't do something. Lab results are very, very motivating for people. So, yeah, we use positive psychology and, and we get people to be happy and all these things. And, and we're all pretty happy. I hope I sound happy. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little too serious, but sometimes I get a little too unserious too. So we, the course is a lot of fun. Um, I'll tell you another thing about it. It's not boring. 
not one bit. It's very exciting. Each and every video that you watch, you get the uh, guidebook, you get the slides, you print them out, you can make lots of notes, you get to confer with your mentor. We have a support Facebook group and just on and on and on to make it amazing. And the platform is easy to use. It's, it's pleasant to navigate. Um, you know, uh, on that note, I would say you should at least be able to, have, to know how to use a computer. Uh, you should know how to use a spreadsheet and a Word document, and these kind of things. You should know how to use an email. You should know how to attach a file to an email. You know, you should have these sort of basic skills that just about everyone has today. But um, other than that, you can get through it six months. You know, I've had people do it in three. I've had people do it in 13. So it just depends on you. Uh, it is self-paced and self-directed, but we're always here. My staff is always here to to accommodate you and to nurture you along. Matter of fact, we just hired a course supervisor, and so um, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else or even anything close. If I do say so myself, <laughs> so that's just... the product that. We always get, and you know what we love are are there's three groups. We love people who are seekers. If you're a seeker and you just want to be healthier and happier, we're seekers too. And if you're a seeker for the purpose of helping others, that you have it in you that you want to do some good in the world, come and join a group of do-gooders. We're all doing as much good in the world as we possibly can. That's the foundation of the course was started on or, or founded on, if you will. And if you like to live your own lifestyle, it's kind of like have this, uh, it's not that you won't work hard, you'll work hard, but you know, Thomas Edison said, I never worked a day in my life, it was all fun. And you know how hard he worked. So that's kind of how we feel about it. We work, but it, it's enjoyable and we get paid well. And uh, that affords us the ability to live the lifestyle we want. And so um, I don't know any other course that's adding all that. Great. Any other like last really good questions that we have, Jess, that we can answer with just two minutes? Otherwise, we can direct everybody to um, shoot any final questions over to you on the website through the chat, or they can schedule an appointment with you. No, I think and remember, are... act, act, act fast to get the discount, and also um, you're gonna love the T-shirt if you buy today. <laughs> Pretty great t shirt. <laughs> so, great. Well, that was it then, right, Jess? Okay, guys. Was, I think uh, you guys addressed pretty much everything that was in here that I saw. And if not, I addressed it. But if you guys look through the chat, like there are tons of links here. You can set up a call with me or one of our course counselors. You can go straight to the website. And yeah, just make sure if you're ready to enroll, you have the discount code. You can get the free advanced course if you sign up before the end of the month. And if you sign up in the next 24 hours, the t-shirt is yours. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, thanks right. for hanging on with us. Happy Tuesday, everybody. And we look forward to seeing you in our community. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.